we have the video. You might, between the two of you, talk us through that play and the, from what, when you've got four minutes, four minutes, 40 seconds left to try and get back in the game against Wales. If you want to look up at the big screen, lads. Look <laughs> to set it up. O'Gara has now dropped, dropped back into the pocket. pocket. Wallace in front of him as the protector. I don't, I'm just surprised that Mark Clock wasn't out the way. To three there? minutes, Ireland continue to pick and go. It doesn't, it doesn't get, get more, more intense, intense than this moment. moment. Peter, Peter Stringer, Stringer urging his past Marcus Horn in particular to get up and defend. They've, they've almost nothing, nothing left, left to give. give. Horn for, for David, David Wallace and Wallace is helped by Paddy Wallace. Ireland in, in position. This must be it. This must be it for Oral O'Gara. So the, the key moment is Peter Stringer tapping Marcus Horn on the ass and telling him to get up. Yeah, there was a lot of, a, a lot of moments in that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. I think for everything he, he has given rugby, it was great that he actually was on the pitch for that moment. It was a big moment for him, you know, I think for all of us. But it was... Um, I think it was just um, the pleasing thing was behind the posts. It was a very un-Irish thing. I think we actually, there was genuine, I think, calmness and belief that we would, we would get a, an opportunity to score. And sometimes you'd kind of be going, that isn't going to happen, you know. Um, but there wasn't any panic. And for you, is that the culmination of eight, nine years of putting yourself in pressure moments of the Heineken Cup in 2000, of, of being part, say, of a miracle match where these situations where you had to deliver, like, is that, is that, could you have taken that on in your tent cap? I'll answer that. I, I, these, there's only a few individuals that absolutely revel in that sort of occasion, that, that truly love that pressurized situation. Most people would balk at, at the thought that the pressure of a whole country is on them but I think certain players thrive in that environment and you know I, I played with three or four of them Johnny Wilkinson was definitely one um, and I think Johnny's become that player but Rog led the way with that where he wanted to be he wanted to kick that goal from the touchline he wanted to take the hard penalty he wanted to you know put himself in a position and what you've got to do there is you've got to fire a shot if you miss you miss but you got to fire a shot. But you if need you to miss. You miss my bollocks. Fucking <laughs> 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 hell! You, you, you. As Claude reminded me in New York, he goes, "You fucking langer! You missed all those kicks against Northampton." I was no <laughs> 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 